Cup schedule, most races are four to 500 miles in length. With that much time behind the wheel, a driver experiences both mental and physical fatigue. So how do they prepare for such strenuous conditions, and how does that preparation improve performance? Here's Mike Massaro with some answers. NASCAR has always been a sport based on endurance, a high-stakes battle of survival, where mental and physical stamina are rivaled only by horsepower and handling. Sweltering heat, deafening sound, and punishing G-forces take their toll. Still, drivers need to stay sharp, maintaining surgeon-like precision from green to checkers for up to 600 miles. One mental lapse can mean the difference between glory and disaster. Teams know this and take it very seriously, which explains why some have begun to enroll in performance enhancement programs like Human Performance International of Huntersville, North Carolina. And I think more and more we're realizing that physical readiness and mental skills are in fact instrumental to performance, not only for the drivers, but for all of the members of the crew. Dr. Jacques Dallaire, a physiologist originally from Montreal, began working with race car drivers in the mid-80s. Since then, over 400 clients from 27 different countries and varying disciplines of the sport have gone through his unique program. I know that as soon as I went through the program, uh, we, we immediately started racing better. You know, our qualifying effort kind of stayed the same, but as far as racing it, it made me race better. Other Winston Cup drivers who have participated include Ward Burton, Mike Skinner, Sterling Marlin, Stacy Compton, and three-time champion Jeff Gordon. Gives you some mental exercises and, and also some physical exercises that are really good for drivers. I mean, I learned a lot about, you know, what muscles I'm using, what muscles I'm not using, and, um, and also, you know, what things I can do in my mind to... Uh, to help me be more mentally prepared. The process begins with a total evaluation of mind and body before heading into an extensive battery of exercises. Beautiful. Right on target, man. Climbing nicely. A significant amount of the program is dedicated to physical readiness, testing strength, flexibility, hand-eye coordination, and stamina, areas that Dallaire believes are crucial to a driver's success. We've all been in that situation where being physically fatigued, it is extremely difficult to stay concentrated or focused on something. We've all been there. When you're physically tired, it's tough to stay focused. And without being focused, it's impossible to be competitive, not to mention extremely dangerous. At speed in a race car, concentration or a lack of concentration can mean the difference between a horrendous accident or being just on the edge of control and coming in first at the checkers. Consequently, HPI places heavy emphasis on concentration skills. One exercise requires a driver to stand in darkness opposite a metal panel littered with scattered lights. As they flash one at a time, drivers need to slap them out while simultaneously identifying a number that appears in the center of the board. Another drill requires a driver to sit stationary while a string of lights runs towards them at varying speeds. The objective? is to hit a button when the final light is illuminated. Dallaire has even developed his own Mind Sharper software designed to test and train the minds of his clients. He'll show you some things that will absolutely blow your mind, that, uh, that shows what concentration can do. And uh, I was surprised. He'll show you. The brain comprehends one thing, period, when you're out there on the racetrack. And, and I mean, you, you really concentrate on what you're doing. But you need to keep in mind, it needs to be a positive thought. You know, you need to think, well, I'm going to get in this corner good, or I'm going to get on the gas early. Um, if you think, I'm going to get loose getting in the corner, you're probably going to get loose getting in the corner, whether you know it or not. But Dallaire and his partner, Frank Alvarez, do much more than simply play mind games. Their program is designed to help give these drivers an edge by conditioning them to perform in the clutch. We have developed over 17 years of working with racers and many more years working with other athletes a process that we refer to as the ACT model. It's really a, a personal performance model that uses a lot of imagery, but it's a very process-oriented approach. And you actually can teach yourself how to optimize the chance of getting into the zone in whatever performance you do. There's a way that you can teach yourself how to get into the zone. And if you're in the zone, the likelihood is you're not going to choke. Still, as scientific as this approach may be, alumni of the program admit this is only a small part of the competitive equation. 
you know, there are some things that that program helps you with, but uh, there's still, still those things you just got to learn and do on your own. It never ceases to amaze me of what we're seeing in our sport now, not only with race cars, but with the athletes and the training that they do. And I think it's good. We didn't do that back when I drove race cars. A few of us would do some physical exercises to try to keep ourselves in good shape. But boy, all the things they go through now. You know, not many of us ever perform to our full 100% capabilities. And the things that they're doing now helps these drivers to get closer to that at least. Yeah, you're right, Ned. It certainly didn't used to be that way. Physiology, phil, physio, can you say that, Ned? No. Physiology <laughs> <can> and <laughs> <laughs> physical training in the old days used to consist of this at the bar. You know, I know because I was there with them, not you, Ned. But in any case, as Ned said, things have changed in the sport. It's much more intense, it's much more competitive, and drivers do indeed have to find every way to gain the edge. This is good. Yep. And we're going to see if those guys, if it really pays off because Mike Skinner says, you know, wouldn't help. No. Wouldn't help anybody yeah. else. Physiology. Physi <laughs> physi physiology. Yeah. Well, we've got to take a